Welcome to the Geeks Attic. This is a horror book review of Meddling Kids. Meddling Kids is written by Edgar Cantero. Now this is the second and final horror book review for October 2017. I plan on doing more horror reviews in 2018 in the month of October all the way up to Halloween. And now for a brief summary. The Blighton Hills Summer Detective Club was a group of young kids who would go around their small town of Blighton Hills, Oregon, solving mysteries and crimes. Now these crimes were usually committed by ghosts, ghouls, and goblins, but you know, not really. They were just weirdos in suits. And these kids from the Blighton Hills Detective Club would reveal those criminals. Sound familiar? It should, because this is inspired by Scooby-Doo. Time jumps forward, the kids are all now grown up adults, living their own lives, separated throughout the United States. They rarely talk to each other these days. Um, well, something in their gut doesn't feel right. Down in their soul, they know something isn't solved about the last case that they had closed. So they plan to head back to Blighton Hills and reopen this unsolved mystery and find out the truth once and for all. Okay, but in order to do so, they have to meet up with each other and take a long road trip back to Blighton Hills, Oregon. This supernatural tale is full of witchcraft. We go on a road trip, we've got horror, we've got thrills, we've got humor, we've got action, explosions, we've got a lot of cussing, and mystery that needs to be solved. Now let's talk about characters. As always, I'd like to mention a few. In this book, I will mention three. The first one being Andy. In her youth, she was a tomboy. So when you write a book these days or make a movie, of course, the tomboy has to grow up and be a lesbo. Anything a guy could do, she could do it just as good, if not better. She's a go-getter, takes charge, makes sure that everybody's safe. She is the muscle of the group. Up next is the other female in the group, Carrie. She's innocent, she's smart, which makes her the brains of this little group. And finally, Nate. He's kind of crazy. He likes to check himself into a sane asylums. He is into the supernatural, so he can read uh, witchcraft, spells, in different languages, a real weirdo. And now for my overall thoughts, I was pretty disappointed with this book. I mean, some of it was pretty cool. You got the Scooby-Doo aspect, you know, these little kids going on their little detective adventures, revealing bad guys dressed up as monsters just to be weirdos in suits. Then the supernatural side of it got a little out of hand, a little weird, not scary, not fun, boring. Really, a couple parts I got a little confused, but the the character development was horrid. I had fun with it in the beginning, but then the middle, the end, they just fell off the rails. It got so lame, so stupid. One of the characters, you know, I said was a lesbian, says that she loves the other girl in the book who was like, what? No, I am totally not into chicks, but a couple chapters later, she's in love with the woman, so she's a lesbo too. The crazy guy who would check himself into insane asylums would see the other friend that was in their group in their youth, you know, as a ghost. It was just, it was dumb. I did not like this book. Boring, bad character development. The, uh, the dialogue sucked. A lot of forced cursing, which I know a lot of people don't care about that, but if it doesn't sound natural, it just sounds stupid. It just sounds like they're after that rated R vibe. Um, wasn't scared. Well, nothing scary about the book, nothing horror-ish, just a few monsters that showed up every now and then, but overall, lame. So do I recommend that you read Meddling Kids? No, not really. It wasn't really that great. It tried a little bit too hard to be creepy, failed, a lot of F-bombs that were completely unnecessary. I mean, I could see characters using the F-bomb, you know, occasionally, but this was like a lot. And unnecessary it sounded like someone trying way too hard but I will go ahead and give this book a rating of 2.5 out of 5 and that'll do it for this video hit that thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already so be notified when I post more videos check out thegeeksaddict.com and have a good one